Hi guys, I'm Ryan Houston and welcome to my Fly Tying channel. The channel contains hundreds of different videos catering from beginners right through to the more advanced tires and covering flies and patterns from all around the world. If you like what you see, stick around until the end of the video where generally you'll find the pattern description and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get on with the show. Hi guys, so <clears throat> we're going to tie a simple uh, green and black temple dog style fly. Uh, a lot of people sort of get put off by temple dogs and they, they overcomplicate them, they make put a lot of materials into them and flies can get out of proportion. So we're going to show you how to tie a really simple one that most people should be able to. It'll look good, it won't have all the different bits and pieces in it, it won't have tags and tails and that sort of stuff, but it'll still produce a very effective looking fly. So it's going to be a green and black one, so Vahinova or Vainova or whatever it's called, uh, colour scheme. So this is a Scandi style tube in here. This is about an inch of uh, fluorescent green and then it has a, a black inner. Now you can see in there that I've uh, flared the black inner a bit. So we probably have three quarters of an inch of that. Uh, this just creates the join. And if you look, I've got this chamfer cut. So cut at about 45 degrees, insert the two. So I'm going to use black tie and thread, 6-0. I'm going to slide that in between these two, so in here at this point, and then just bind back. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go slightly beyond the junction bit of the two here, and I'm just going to take, this is a holographic sort of angel dub sort of thing, and I'm just going to create a long dub and loop, so just catch that and then I'm just spinning it and this creates like this dubbing noodle or whatever way you want to call it. So we're going to dub that along the length of the tube until this section. We're going to do all the tie in here on this section that was cut at the angle. That there knits into itself. There's no need for you to rib that as such. Now, so, uh, under wing, what I'm going to use is a bit of fluorescent green fox. Now, it's not the best quality fox in the world. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut off the base of that, grab it about two thirds of the way along, and just pull all that under for it, because it is the bit that is making it look uneven. We then end up with this nice enough tapered bit of fox. So what we're going to do is take that back. It's going to be maybe one and a half times the length of the shank. Going to swap hands and cut that off. Set that in position. Put a couple of turns across it. And then a little blob of either super glue or a thin clear varnish in there and just bind that down. Next I'm going to take a strand of, uh, this is like a chartreuse mirage, so some sort of flash, whatever flash you've got. One strand, I'm going to double it over, I'm going to go down to where the loop is formed, cut that off so it's now two thicknesses and double that over again. So the four ends matched up. Set that on top so it's about the length of the green hair. Tie over it. These loops here now, slip your scissors into them and cut them. And fold that back. So you now essentially have eight strands of flash in there. If you want to go less, go less. Uh, and they're different lengths so it creates that bit of a taper. Top of the wing I'm going to take a bit of black fox. So this is going to be maybe uh, a little bit long, well, longer than the, than the green portion anyway to give you that taper. Cut off the end. Set that on top. And the same thing again. A little bit of some sort of adhesive just into the cut ends of it and then bind them down. So now we have a very effective teardrop wing with simply two bunches of fox. Quality of the material obviously is plays a part. 
we want then we can add a little bit of uh, peacock pearl to the top of that. Three strands. Set them on about the length of the upper portion. Let them roll up onto the top and tie them down. Now we're going to take a couple of jungle cock feathers, add them onto the side. So I've just broken that off for length. I'm going to stick it there on the side of the flight. Another one on that side. Match it up for length. Hold it along the side. Doesn't have to be overly neat because we're going to use a hackle to cover up the front of the fly. Now jungle cock can pull out. So what I would say you should do is just run a little bit of adhesive just over that. Now we want to pick a black soft or webby hackle. This happens to be a, a sort of a cock hackle but it's more of a saddle type thing. It's kind of softish. Um, I'm going to double it. I have videos in my techniques session I should have a, a link to that somewhere in the video here that uh, you'll see a, a card directing you to my techniques section and in there you'll find a video on doubling hackles. So we tie that in by its tip, fold it back and then we want to wrap that hackle. So this bit that we've been tying on is quite thick for now but as you can see we wrap our hackle two turns on that. Once we get to the front of it just hold it in position here that'll stop it slipping on you and allow your hackle then to get down onto the inner tubing and we're going to get one or two turns around that and as you can start to see the fly is taking on that shape fold that back and then a half hitch to set it in place trim off the hackle trim off the thread and then we're going to use a comb to neaten the whole thing up. So just slide this back. I'm taking a super glue. This is one of these precision super glue gel bottles. And I'm just putting a little bleb of it around the head of the fly. Set on my comb and then push that back. That will set in position and then what you want to do is just take a bit of a comb blend that wing together and finish the fly by taking it off. You can see I didn't pull it off there I, I, I sort of put a little bit of pressure onto it and spun my my vise and what I find that does is that uh, it doesn't damage the dress and so much trying to pull it off. Flame the inner tubing back towards the uh, cone and then I just set it up the needle the other way just to make sure that the hole is patent. And that is our fly tide, so a simple green and black temple dog. has that sort of effective teardrop shape. You can do this in whatever colour you want, but basically it just shows you that you don't have to add all the dozens of different elements and still have an effective looking play. So, hopefully you liked our video. If you did, give us a like, subscribe, check out all the other videos on the channel. And until next time, tight lines. Thanks for watching.